Good morning, folks. Today we've got a bit of space weather to cover, a filament eruption, and sunspots, and two excellent articles on galactic physics, which inevitably bring us back to the galactic current sheet. We are starting, as always, with our star, and we find the last 24 hours once again did not have any significant flaring. The solar wind has remained somewhat calm as the coronal hole stream appears to have missed, and just this morning the large filament we watched crossing the sun did erupt. We still have several items to be watching today, including those sunspots, and the larger active regions do appear to have significant potential, just wrapped up stably for the time being. That filament eruption appears to have ripped away in a direction ahead of Earth's orbit, in addition to a considerable amount of the plasma collapsing back downward at the northern reach of the rope. SOHO coronagraphs are not yet updated to show the eruption, but best guess at this stage is that the CME will miss our planet by a few degrees. Let's take a quick peek in on the sunspots next. We definitely have new groups incoming, but the more immediate watch is for that distended grouping near center disk on the south. It is unsurprising that it has remained fairly calm the last couple of days because despite its breadth and apparent physical complexity, it lacks magnetic complexity. The polarities of the umbral cores are fairly well split from front to back, and there's not much in the way of interaction between them. This, of course, can change within an hour or two, so we'll keep monitoring it today. Up next, we're heading out to a distant galaxy and finding something remarkably familiar in terms of galactic science. The gas flows are recycling, which is indeed a first observation at that level of detail, but it's the motion of the gas that matters. The galactic magnetic field poloidal structure is revealed by that motion, with both polar segments and the equatorial radial motion just as we see in our own Milky Way. Of course, the equatorial radial aspect is where the galactic current sheet can be found, similar to the Sun's current sheet, splitting the northern and southern magnetic fields and representing the reversal point in a similar vein. There is a new discovery about our Milky Way, and it's exactly what observers would have expected them to find. Not only are there vertical radio plasma filaments near Sagittarius A, but there are radially oriented horizontal filaments running through the plane of the galaxy as well. These are tracing the galactic or interstellar magnetic field structures just as we would expect in the equatorial sheet. And so these two stories, both from a large scale perspective and then from a small scale detailed observational perspective, once again lead back to the radial, wavy, rippling field component, bringing the galactic magnetic reversal, the cause of the ongoing solar system shift, and Earth's changing magnetism. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about this with the links posted below in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.